loved each other like everything. We were everything to each other from the time we woke up to the time we went to sleep. We spoke. Crystal Johnson, along with dozens of family and friends, gather at 19th Street in Alton in Rockford with flowers, balloons and candles to remember their loved one, Jordan Thomas. Our kids were raised together. She, she, she was beautiful. Like, it's so hard to talk about her because it's so unreal. Like, who would ever have thought? Thomas was fatally shot and killed on May 29th in the 2700 block of 19th Street. Johnson says she met Thomas when they were little girls and were inseparable ever since. She could light up a room like my hype man. I'm the dancer and she's the one standing there like, go Krista, go Krista. Like, we were a team. Witnesses say a house party was going on that night when shots rang out. Johnson says she begged Thomas to stay home that evening to bake cookies and watch movies. And she's like, no, come on, because you need to get out, you know, get your mind off things. Let's hang out. And one night of hanging out, one night of hanging out was the last night. Johnson, along with many others, fighting back tears and trying to come to terms with their grief, not only for Thomas, but also for the four kids she leaves behind. There were so many people that loved her. She has kids, beautiful kids. And like, what, what do you tell them? How do you tell them your mom is never coming back? Friends say it's going to be tough, continuing through life without her and are left holding on to the memories. She was an amazing person. She was an amazing friend, mother. She's so young, had so much life to live. We had so many plans, so many dreams. We wanted to go everywhere. We wanted to see and do everything, you know? We just didn't have enough time.